Hey, what's going on, folks? Man, welcome back to the Great Culture. Man, please hit that like, share, subscribe button, man. And let's get into it. Let's talk about it, man. I want to talk about, man, the the backlash in the mainstream, uh, particularly the left. Now, y'all know I don't fuck with neither side. I don't got nothing to do with none of that. They all have a role that they play. You know, left wing, right wing, and all this left wing, right wing. It's, it sounds like that's all part of the same body, right? If it's, you know, two different wings. Uh, but they have a role that they play. And they they like, they want to divert people in a certain direction uh, using their propaganda. So they play good guy, bad guy. They're very polarizing on their issues. They don't, there's no nuance. There's no, you know, you have people on this side or people who are on the CNN and MSNBCs that, you know, you have mixed feelings. Even though it may be like that behind the scenes, they don't show these mixed feelings. They're all on one accord when they speak to you in the public and the same side for Fox News. Right. And so it's done like that for, you know, it's done like that for a reason. Uh, just an example, when we talk about uh, when it, they talk about things like mandates mandates when we go back to last year and we were discussing you know uh business mandates now the business can make those mandates for itself for its private private owners uh that don't have no government contracts or anything like that people who start their own got their own stuff going but <clears throat> but the government has no jurisdiction the state federal none of them they have no jurisdiction to to make those decisions for your private property it's the fourth fourth amendment right and in the case that they have to well the fifth amendment says that they have to be properly compensated and so that's at the discretion of the person who's allowing their business to be taken over it's just stuff to you know to stop government overreach so a lot of times those sound that type of that you know that stance sounds similar to what you'll hear on Fox News. And so when a person hears that they say, "Oh no. I don't want to hear I don't want nothing to do with that because they're the bad guys. They have the racists. Those are the Republicans." And usually when you hear somebody say some racist stuff or some insensitive crap, it's usually coming from that side. Well, in perception, cuz both sides say a bunch of insensitive crap. You got people on MSNBC saying Maybe people shouldn't be afforded health care if they haven't had the jab. Because they're putting people at risk or whatever the hell. Think of the precedent that sets. You know, there's a person sit up there and smoke all day. You shouldn't be, you smoke all day, and, you know, eating cheeseburgers. You shouldn't, shouldn't get health care. Person sits there and does drugs, uh, accidentally, you know, ODs, it's different stuff like that. You shouldn't get health care. This country has the money to pay for free health care, but they waste it on other crap. Now, we can't depend on the government. We should all do for self. Health care isn't a human right like they say it is because it's dependent on, on, on somebody else's work, right? But it's, it should be something that should be afforded to everybody, right? It's not a human right. The, the human right is for you to seek your own health care and do things to take care of yourself, you know, even in times like this. But they don't want you to do that because, you know, big pharma is an industry. They, you know, they they rule out different things that possibly could help you. Because they want to see you in the they want to see you back to the doctor. It's a business. They're not in this for your for your health. They've never been in it for your well-being. And it's funny that they talk like this now, but what has history shown you? Check out my show I did. You know, I, I don't think I've even posted up, but go to Word on the Ave and check out the show I did explaining, you know, the history of the FDA. These guys have never been on your side. So we are talking about Nicki Minaj. And what she said about her her cousin, 
and his ball swelling after he got this jab, right? And they all jumping on her and, you know, discrediting her and saying it's misinformation and stuff like that. Well, how, how do you know that? How do we know it's misinformation? You had the government of, of Trinidad and Tobago and the health, you know, the health director there saying they can't find anything on that. How do we know to trust them? Especially when you've seen how these governments, mainly here in America, how they've acted with information. They basically just censored everything that doesn't fit their description. These are from people who who had the same um who have the same you know credentials as the guys that they put in their bureaucracy right the people that they put in the forefront but because it doesn't line up with what they're saying uh they block them but anytime they get caught saying misinformation which has been multiple times they don't block anything they're not they're not censoring them they're not trying to discredit them they try to sweep it all under the rug right over and over again, we've seen that, right? From the Fauci's to the Como's, just over and over again. So many, so many situations. So, nonetheless, now let's get into it. So, let's get into one of these these Democratic shields, uh, the Daily Show with Trevor Noah. You know, he's gonna be a shield no matter what. He's gonna say whatever you know. He's going to say whatever's the right thing to, you know, stay in the limelight because that's how they get elevated. If you say anything different, you're going to get done like old girl did who was with, uh, who was on that Mandalorian show. Remember, I can't even remember her name, but she said basically the same thing that the other guy, uh, what's it, Pedro Pascal, had said something just as similar. But because he sits on one side of the political spectrum, his was his was let go. His was swept under the rug, right? Let's get into it. Let's see what Trevor Noah has to say. And then I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you another video from um from a uh was, it was, no matter of fact it's not a video. It's an actual post. I forget the name of the news agency, but you'll see what I'm talking about and how it'll line up with this. So let's look into it, man. I get, I get why Nikki Minaj, Minaj feels attacked, attacked just for just saying, saying that she wants, that she wants to, to do her, her own research. research. I, get I get it. But at the same, same time, time, time Nikki, let's be real. In fact, not just, not just everyone, everyone. Can we, can we all stop saying, saying I need to do, I need my, to own do my own research? Nobody who's saying that is getting in the lab and doing tests. At best, At best, you're reading, you're other, reading people's other people's research, research. and more and likely, like, you're probably you're reading, probably a, reading tweet a tweet about a headline, about a, headline, about a, blog, about a blog, about someone, about someone else's someone else research. research. No one's no doing, doing the doing research. research. I, I, I need to do my own research. What we say when we say, 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 I need to I do, need more, to do more, more, more research, research, research is that is you just want to see enough information to convince you that your decision is correct. That's what we're saying. Right? That's what we mean. I want to do more research. And I especially don't want to do not doing her own research. Because I don't want to wait 10 years for the next album while she finishes up medical school. Now, here's, now, here's the, problem. the problem. The problem. The problem. So, it's still all research. That's all. It's all research. When you're looking, you try to get as much as you can. You may be blocked off from certain sources, and getting the. You know, we can't be in the lab. Nobody's in the lab. Now, I'm going to ignore the last part where he says I don't want Nicki Minaj doing research because it's going to be album. That, that that he he's a comedian. This dude's a comedian, right? But. You know what he's saying? He's only speaking on one side of the spectrum. He's basically, we all know he's talking about the folks who are who are hesitant about getting the jab. He's not referring to the people who, who got it. Because what he's saying, it applies to both sides. The, everybody that we're, you know, everybody that we look at and we, you know, we talk to, we try to sit there and gauge the response that we get from the public and how people, you know, how they respond to the jabs. We look at hospital numbers. We try to look at different things like that. We try to hear different stories, right? So this is just, this is completely dishonest because anybody who 
got the jab, all they're doing is reading somebody else's numbers and reading somebody else's study and saying, okay, oh, I feel safe about this. And try to, you ain't try to look at the, and then they try to take a look at, you know, what's going on in the hospitals and personal experience. That's all they got. They're not in the lab either. So this is a dishonest, and you know, like I said, you already know they they don't they don't think about nothing they're saying. But come on, let's keep getting into it, man. Millions, millions, millions of followers, 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 millions, millions, millions followers, followers, that tweet about swimming pools, that'll be their that'll research. Be their research. It, will it will be their research. research. But at the same, at the same time, time, I'm not I'm saying, not that, saying we that we should label, label Nicki Minaj, Minaj as an as anti. anti and what's the problem with that being? some research now we should all look further we should all look further but that's like i said that's how it's been on both sides that's how it's been on both sides but you only get shown one thing the person the people who are dying of of the jab you only get shown one thing a lot everybody's been irresponsible when it's come to the depth of their research like I said, this is just an attack on people who aren't getting it, right? Well, look. Axa, Axa, all right, all right. Like, give, like her, give her a little, little bit of benefit. benefit. Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj is saying, saying she's unsure, unsure and she can and be convinced. That's, that's what she said. She said, she said, she said I, I, just I just need to understand a little, little, little bit more. So don't be like, don't oh, she's an anti-vaxxer, screw her. Anti-vaxxers believe that all vaccines are evil. They think all vaccines. But you've called everybody who's who's um who's been skeptical of this mainstream media has called everybody an anti-vaxxer each time but you know you you trying to he, he's trying to he's still trying to he don't he don't want to go all the way on nick in on Nicki minaj because he personally likes her we we know what it is you know we know what it is with this so Take your DNA take and hide it behind, behind your liver so your body, can't, so your body can't, can't find it. But if you take but if Nikki, you take at, Nikki her word, at her word, or anyone, or anyone who wants more who information, wants information for that matter, for that matter instead, of instead of crucifying, crucifying them, them to prove how righteous, how righteous we, are, we are, let's show, let's show them, them the research. research. Well, what's this? Make the delivery. Make the delivery. Facebook got sponsors and ads now. Receive the payment we sell. Can skip it. Bank without Bank missing a beat. Let's, show, let's them show them the research. The research. Let's take them, let's at, take their them at their word. You know, so for Nikki or, or anyone else out there, the, else good, out news there, the good, news good news is that a lot of actual, lot of actual research, research has already, has been, already done been done on these, on vaccines. these vaccines. And that and research, that research has, shown has shown that they're that overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly safe and effective. And their, and side, their effects side effects don't come don't close, close to the damage, to the damage that, COVID that COVID can do to you. To you. It's been it's done. Been done. We've done the research. the research. But still, but still you might be you asking, might be Trevor, asking Trevor, Trevor, what happened to what that, happened guy, to in that guy in Trinidad? And yeah, you know, when I've seen, you know, for me personally, and I got my, I got me one jab, I'm still skeptical of where all this could go, you know, down the line but you know you take a chance with all of this you know i've got every right to be skeptical about you know about doing it um you know i talk to a lot of people when you go to the hospitals uh talk talk to my uh my cousin who works in the works in the hospitals works in the icu unit you know according to what he's seen you know probably about 90 percent of the people of the cases that they've had on them were unjabbed so you know, it, it's, it's some you know maybe some to it, and then a lot of people who have got the jab and they haven't had any side effects. They haven't had no side effects for the most part. Now you know I've I've heard of heard of a couple of people who are close, but for the most part, you know everybody's been fine, including myself with the first one, right? Um, I'm still skeptical on even getting the second one, but huh? Huh? The guy with the, the, guy with the what happened, what happened, to, happened to, him? to him? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I think there are, I think many, there are reasons many reasons people might people get swollen balls. Like, like, I don't know, maybe, don't maybe, know, maybe he sprayed, sprayed that miracle, miracle grow on them. them. You know? Maybe his scrotum developed and not that Maybe his balls is actually a bit but his penis is super, super tiny. It's an optical illusion. 
But even if you do want to blame the vaccine, Trinidad doesn't even use the same vaccine as America. Think about that. They use the Chinese vaccine. Sinopharm. And I know as soon as I say China. Talking about people doing their research, white, you know, and he has every right just because he got it wrong. Because I'm going to show you he got this wrong. You'll see it in the comment section. But because he got it wrong, I'm not going to crucify him. You know, we're trying to get all the research. We're trying to put it all together the best we can. But, hold on. Look. And vaccine. People are like, people are like oh, oh, boy, here, here we go. Because look, let's be honest, China's, China's wild, wild system. system. I mean, they make I mean, some, they some, they make some, some precise, precise electronics, electronics in the world, in China. In China. You know, like, yeah, like iPhones, iPhones and tests. And tests. Yeah. China, can China can make the make best of anything. But then at the same time, China will also make a fake pill. Timberland will somehow give you a rash on your teeth. So I don't know so if this dude's dude ball had anything, had anything to do with Sinopharm, the Chinese vaccine. vaccine. I don't know, I don't know enough, enough about <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Sinopharm. Sinopharm. I have to do I my, own, to research. my own research. But the fact but is the that, fact right, is that now, right now, for Nicki Minaj, for Nicki Minaj or anyone, or anyone else, else in America, getting vaccinated, getting vaccinated is still the safest, safest and most and effective, effective way for you way to for keep COVID at bay. At bay. And hey, at the, and very hey least, at the very least, it's also a great, way, also to a great way to find out if your fiance, fiance only, loves you only loves you or your regular, or your regular size, size testicles. testicles. All right, man. So, you know, he's a comedian, man. He, he's a comedian. But let, let's go into the comment section, man. But so as you can see right here, man, it already says, you know, look, my dear Trevor, I love you. But you and your team need to do more research on what COVID-19 jabs are, are available in Trinidad and Tobago. You can also get AstraZeneca, Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson. Now, I just seen a farm. Keep sparing, sharing the love. Yes, yeah, some people. Those on the fence have had 10 months to research, but the best research out there is your ER and ICU staff at the hospitals. Go work along with them four straight 12-hour shifts. Warning, they will be more like 14-hour shift, and you'll be lucky if you get the P once and maybe have a Coke and a candy paw. You know, maybe that's true. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. But that's research. Those people aren't in the... Those people aren't in the... Um, even your doctors. Your doctors, these people in the hospitals, they're not the ones who are you know, looking into these jabs. They're not the ones who can, you know, even look into COVID itself. Remember this, we don't know what we're dealing with, to be honest with you. It, the uh, the head of the Wuhan, the Wuhan Institute, uh, he said himself, if you go back to NBC Nightly News, January 23rd, I believe, I have the video, and, you know, he said, the virus hasn't been isolated itself at all. So, I have so much respect for Trevor and the way he handled this. Being scared or hesitant about something that was rolled out to the public a year ago does not make anyone an anti-jabber. Quote, against all jabs. Nikki never said that folks shouldn't get jabbed. People are legitimately scared. Shaming them won't make that fear go away. It will just make them tune you out and dig their heels in even further. Thank you. Thank you. But see, they don't see that. Those people, places like MSNBC, you know what? No, I, I can't even say that because like I said, it's all a psychological operation. They're all going to stay on their end of the political spectrum. They're all going to be rigid with their information. So, you know, they're going to do what they're told to do. So it's, they want people to be like this. They want to generate the confusion amongst everybody. They don't want to discern information, right? Our Minister of Health in Trinidad and Tobago sought to validate the claim as the ministry is pushing with the jab program. Also note that we have four jab options. The health ministry was not able to confirm the swollen testicles claim. 
just letting you know. TNT is a blessed place and we have traditional and non-traditional remedies for all ailments. Blessings to you and wishing your show continued success. So I don't know what um I don't know what I don't know what aim she was taking with that one. I don't know if that was a knock on to the 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 health ministry of uh Trinidad and Tobago or not. Y'all let me know in the comment section. <laughs> What else? The problem is that she has a far reach due to her fame and doesn't seem to understand how damaging it can be. I get it. She doesn't want to do it just yet. That's her prerogative, her choice. But she has influence on others that don't exactly have the same means as her. She just needs to not tell people what to do because some people follow celebrities and their words and it's dangerous. I don't think she told anybody what to do. She gave her own decision. You know, anybody who's following celebrities and different things like that, that's your fault. Don't blame anybody if you won't do your own research and you're just taking the word directly of somebody. And you're not trying to get, gain as much intel as possible. Don't blame anybody else. But, you know, we want to live in this victim, victimhood society, right? Look at this. How is it okay for the government to tell others what to do and for and not and force their choice on others and not okay for her to share her point of view? <laughs> exactly. Look, she replied as Stephanie Mendoza replied, celebrities use their platforms to tell everyone to get the jab. Same shit. Right. Right. I heard her say something about 80% of the artists are not getting jabbed because of the fear and the bullying. I'm just wondering how close to the truth that is. It's, I mean, it's the proof is right there. Just look at what happened to Suri from the Black Panther. Look at what happened with Carrie Hilson, right? And like I said, it's only, it's, it's, uh, it's only, aimed it's only pushed toward one side of the partisan mind control <laughs> program it's like i said look at what happened to that gina chick who was who was with um who was on star wars it, i don't think she said anything about a jab but she had said she had made a claim that likened everything that was going on it was you know similar you know dealing with what we were dealing with with the in the times uh she was talking about what's happening uh what happened back in germany back in the 1940s 1930s 1940s now she got crucified she got kicked off of disney and i mean they have every right if it's part of their policy if they can let somebody go for any reason they see fit i mean that's on them that's on them and that's on, you know, that's between the employer and employee. But at the same time, it wasn't consistent to how they moved because her co-star, and I, I forget her name. It was, oh, was it Gina Carano? Yeah, that's her name. But her co-star, Pedro Pascal, had said something, uh, said, you know, something very similar. If not, was probably worse and likened everything, you know, to, uh, to Germany in the 1930s and 1940s, but because he sits on the side of the left, you know, his was let go. You see what I'm saying? Every anti-jabber has a cousin with a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should listen then. And every... And every, uh, I'm not going to label and box anybody in all these names, but people who have people who they know people, you know, they know people who have passed away from this. this they, they can, same thing can be said with them. Now I know somebody, you know, close who passed, who, who didn't have, you know, who didn't get, get jabbed. Right. I know somebody close. It's, it's, it's pretty close. It's not directly to me, but it's, um, uh, it's the sister 
the sister of a you know of a of a cousin or a brother-in-law you know i call him cousin i don't say brother-in-law say cousin brother whatever you know how it goes disgruntled and disappointed by you saying we should give Nicki Minaj a pass. How many more deaths are you willing to accept? I used to have faith in you. All gone. Dickhead. So. Wow, this guy thinks citizens shouldn't do their own research. Having critical thinking skills and asking questions is a good thing, though it makes much more difficult for others to control your actions. Exactly. There's another one uh, claiming, you know, letting them know. This is a person from Trinidad and Tobago. Our citizens currently have access to four jabs. Cenoform, AstraZeneca, Pfizer, Johnson, and Johnson & Johnson. So... So how do we, you know, we look at all this and they jump on her for saying this. But like I said, how we do we know it's misinformation? How do we know it's misinformation? There's a lot of different things that, it, you know, they sit up there and say, no, that's not one of the symptoms. But, you know, how do we know that? They're not putting out all of the people who are passing away. There's been a lot of people who have passed away from the jab. You know, it's just, it's something that comes with it. You know, when you get it, you know, when I got the Moderna thing. They tell you that there's a chance that myocarditis could develop. It's not 100% safe, but, you know, it's like what Trevor Noah explained on the video. It, you know, it could be the safer option. It could be the safer option. We don't know. Keep in mind, you're dealing with a federal government that knows more about you than they then you know about them and they have the farm they man they have the pharmacy industry they have all of that they have the doctors these people you know i don't want to sound like you know <laughs> some crap out of a movie but that's how real it is these people develop all type of stuff man and they use all type of different biology and different you know parts of the human body you know they have an understanding uh Check out the story of, of Henrietta Lacks and the HeLa cells. Check that out. Look that up. It's, it's real out here, man. Ob obs obfuscation. I'm sorry. Can't pronounce that word. I'm retarded. Uh, there's primary research and secondary research, and we'll just ignore that secondary research exists, even though it is by far the most commonly performed form of research. So he's saying what I said. He just he says it much better than me. Well put, sir. And this has very suddenly become a thing expressed in memes and left leaning sources and bits. When something becomes widespread suddenly. And it's so clearly bogus, it makes me wonder why. Yeah. I'm tired of people saying they're going to do their own research. Over 600,000. Over 600,000 people have died from this, from this shit. Not from the jabs. You still got to... You're, you're receiving something. That, that's understandable. But you're still receiving something. You don't know what you're getting... You don't know what it could lead to down the way. I mean, millions and millions of people have died from health because of, you know, not just the things that we ingest, but from drugs, from medical mal malpractice and different things like that. We don't know where this could lead to. But, you know, it's just something to where you can weigh your options. You know, you bring all research to the table, but you still want to do your research. You want to. There's a lot of skepticism with all of this. And there's a lot of things that bring skepticism and people have the right to question it because there's just so many lies. So many lies that are being put out there, man. And don't forget Event 201. 
Don't forget, forget, don't forget event 201, man. Don't forget your history. People have a lot of history to, to lie, you know, to uh, hang their hat on. Yeah, man, these people. So I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you this other video, man. Uh, or not this other video. I'm gonna show you this other post, man. And it's really surprising, man. But well, watch this. Watch this. Now take a look at this right here. This is from WXYZ TV Channel Seven. Where are they located? Where are they located? I don't see. I don't know what city that is. Let's see. Detroit. Located in Detroit, okay. So they asked the question, they put a post, and they said, after the jabs were available to everyone, did you lose an unjabbed loved one to uh, to COVID-19? If you're willing to share your family story, please DM us your contact information. We may reach out for a story we're uh, working on. That you know, uh, of course, they. I don't know. I don't know what type of story out there working on. Are they gonna? Are they gonna do both sides of the? Are they gonna do both sides of it? Are they gonna have people who have passed away? You know, the, you know, to give some type of you know, uh, to put a spotlight on the harm that it could cause. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And the reason I ask that because, like I said, there have been stories of this. And if you don't believe me, let's just take a look and scroll down to the comment section. Now, I don't think they expected this. We'll put it on all comments. I don't think they think they expected this response. I know people who painfully died from the jab. Want those stories? After the V were available, and this is all linking back to everything that Nicki Minaj was saying because they said, you know, they jumped on her and just said, you know, what she said didn't, you know, it wasn't an opinion that she said. It was a fact. Now, because something is a fact doesn't make it the truth. She could be lying. She could be lying. But how do we know? Why can't we take her at face value? This is her experience. She said after it happened, she said she didn't say particularly that that's what caused it, but she said after that's what happened. That's after it, her her cousin got the jab. They had don't know. Said that could have been a side effect. After maybe after maybe she was assert maybe she was assertive and she made that assertion that that's was a side effect directly from it. I forgot. I have to go back and look at the have to go back and look at it. But think about what they were doing when they were labeling the 600,000 people who had passed from passed from COVID-19. I mean, it was all type one person. This was literally in the actual paper had died from a motorcycle accident. This is not conjecture. This actually happened and was labeled as and was put in the paper as a dying from COVID-19. You had the health official in Illinois. It said if a person had, you know, a pre-existing condition and they happened to die then within that time, but they had COVID, they get labeled as a COVID death. So it only works on one side. And you wonder why people are, are, are skeptical. After the V was available, someone I care about suffered from severe memory loss. It's, it's crazy how we got to censor and say different things like that i'm not fighting a war against censorship on a quote-unquote it's it is kind of public but it's still owned by somebody so they can do what they want they don't have a monopoly on platforms so i operate how they want to you know youtube facebook different things like that but i come to these places because this is where everybody's at and we're in the game of getting out information and talking to the people so i'm not going to go somewhere where nobody's at because I'll just be talking to my damn self, right?
but there's other people on other platforms. So we can go on here, go on there, on there and talk our shit. But you know, we're trying to reach a lot of people, right? <laughs> Someone I care about suffered from severe memory loss after the second shot. A medical doctor could no longer remember where they live or how to get home. Memory has yet to return. One life destroyed and that life affected many others. But lives don't matter to you. You just seem eager to celebrate the death of the unveed. That's what the media's done. And they put they post it anytime they get, it. especially if it's somebody who's been skeptical and they talked on their radio show about it and Man, they'll plaster it over everything. Anti-jabber, so-and-so has now died, and they'll put it over everything. They want to put him at the front, but they don't talk about the people, like I said. They don't talk about the folks who were all for it. It's bad on both sides. If you have somebody who's against it, and they put somebody who died, and they plaster them and try to have some type of celebration. Now, you can put out the information, you know, but you want it on both sides. You there's got to be there's got to be you know objectivity when dealing with all of this. You know, do both sides. It's bad if somebody's you know putting that person because they died from getting the jab, and they sit up there making fun of and saying you know see and all of this stuff. Nobody deserves any of this, man. We're you know. If I put my, you know, I don't want to make assertions, but man, if I was, I was a betting man, we're under attack, man, and lost a lot of casualties, and people are scrambling, scrambling trying to survive. Just look at all of this. Look, I'm just here for the ratio, ratio, but look, look at all the different stories. Lost my aunt to the Pfizer jab. CDC verified, VAERS documented. My sister developed symptoms from it. Inflammation of the heart muscle. Pfizer is no good. Will you be doing any stories of people who overcame and then have antibodies? Will you be doing any stories about the thousands that have debilitating side effects from the jab? Curious if you will be balanced journalists in the media or, or not, but guessing no. Look at this. Just stop it. Enough with the stories. Let's talk about cancer loss, AIDS, and so on. Yeah. The VA in Palo Alto gave my father in law his third booster. What the hell? Three. He's wobbly and slurring his words and can't find words to communicate. It's like he's a toddler again. What the heck is in those vials? Now, you know, even, man, think about it and think about the fight that the FDA's had where you had two uh, two FDA, I mean, not two, but I, I can't remember. Like, I'm saying a number like it was that. I think it was. But you had a few FDA officials actually uh, leave because they're, they're because of the infighting, because they're getting pressured by the White House to uh, approve the boosters before, before they have any real, you know, any real documentation, before they even know if it's even necessary. <coughs> the White House is trying to push this shit forward. You know, you think about. It. I know someone who had a heart attack after the first dose and isn't getting the second one. I know someone who died from the jab. Let's tell those stories. And, you know, there's a lot of people here on earth 
So when you hear these stories, because somebody, there's a lot of people that get jabbed, but you know, a lot of people still have a different issue, different issues. So it doesn't stop life from happening, right? Stuff can still happen. It doesn't mean necessarily mean it came from that, right? But we're not looking in. We're not highlighting these things. We're not trying to see if this is what it is, you know, if this is what it's coming from. And like I said, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there'd be information that shows that maybe one side is safer than the other, right? Maybe it is safer to get the jab. But it's all about picking your fights. People have their own battles. They they have their own things that they may want to fight. They may want to take their chance on getting, on you know, getting COVID versus having a heart attack and different things like that. That may be something they don't want to take a chance on. It's It's their fight. Whether you think it's, you know, silly or not, it's their fight that they want to take. No, I lost two who was jabbed. Y'all too trusting of your government. Yeah, there's no reason to be. <coughs> I am unjabbed, as is my husband and 16-year-old daughter. Caught COVID three weeks ago. Husband was tired for two days and had a headache another two days. 16-year-old lost her smell, but that's it. I stayed on my couch for a week, got better, went on about my business with no need from any Western medicine facility. That's a good story from an unjabbed person who caught uh, COVID and survived just like 99% of the rest of us. I think, you know, you do want to put a focus on the people. It's just like when we when we do the news. You don't, you know, you want to identify the issues. So I understand that's not why that's why they don't typically go to everybody who survived and different things like that. You want to prevent the deaths. It's like, you know, it's how all news goes. When we identify the problems that are going on. It's like when you go to the doctor, you don't go to the doctor. You don't go there for them. You know, when you have a specific problem, you don't want them to ignore the issue that is going on. And, uh, and maybe I'm wrong on this, but you don't want them to ignore the issue that is happening, you know, it's going happening with you and go telling you everything that's good. Uh, nah, well, nah, because they do do that. They tell you what's going on, but they tell you what's what's happening with you, too, at the same time. They tell you the good things and they tell you the bad. So maybe, you know, you want to hear both. So maybe they are right. Maybe they're all right, you know, but, you know, they're just putting a. I will say, you know, you do want to put a focus and you do want to, like I said, bring precaution to these different things and discretion. But like I said, it's only happening on one side. I lost a 39 and 28 year old friend to their booster shot, second shot. Also a friend's 19 year old daughter had massive blood clots in her lungs after her shot i think i'll stick to not being jabbed all the ones i know in the ICO, icu or have recently died with covid are fully vaccinated so you know when, when we when we looking at these things is how do we know you know how do we know these people are telling the truth a lot of people will say that they, they, they could just be trolls in the comment section well, the same could be said about the people who are saying they lost loved ones to, you know, they lost loved ones to the jab, right? And what makes it what makes it even, you know, crazier is this is not on, you know, this is something that, you know, they say you would expect on a Fox News, you know, site or something like that. But no, this is just under this is under the news, which is typically, you know, journalism, especially local news. They're not too much tied into you know political sides or anything like that and so they kind of you know they kind of just remain in the you know in you know just telling the story and just telling you know journalism and they had a specific thing that they asked but this is what they're getting flooded with man they i mean they got flooded man i know someone who was fully jabbed always wore their mask and recently in ICU and passed away. That was already, you know, the 
the the jab is not 100 percent and that's that's always been established it's not gonna you know you can still die it just what they say is it can cut down the chances of it happening the hell is this a friend of a friend suffered a dreadfully suffered dreadfully from shedding from the jab his testicles get so big anytime he is near to a gm person he had to leave his job as an airline pilot his wife just left him what the hell man I don't know. Yes, yeah, that looks. I don't know if they're trolling. They're trying to sell something. The Chinese have received a 92% infertility rate on an entire age group of girls in the experiment. Every doctor that has that information and results from tests. Go interview your doctor. I don't know if that's true. I don't. I haven't seen that for myself. Somebody send that to me if y'all know about it. Fully, fully jab. Yeah, we already know fully jab people. So I'm seeing if there's any other stories, but and it was more than this. They've actually, uh, they've actually deleted a lot of the comments. Uh, you know, I got to and you know, shout out to um, High Impact Flicks. He highlighted this. crazy how they haven't talked about you know they swept that under the rug and Fauci got caught lying you tell them to gain a function and, and them uh funding the Wuhan uh research Channel 7 News is not, quote news, is not allowed to ask that someone you know die from the jab because they are afraid to lose their broadcasting license and all the ad revenue from Big Pharma. <laughs> there is no other explanation why all major news ignores the facts and all the side effects like death. It's not, it's, it's just not the story they want anyone to know. Or because all media is owned by six corporations, their bosses will not allow the news to stray from the adopted narrative. They obviously want you all deader than doornails, but our cognitive dissonance interferes with the blinks of glimmering truth that we all drowning in. I don't know if they want us dead. I don't know, you know. No, I mean they do want people dead. That's evident. They don't they don't they've never pushed health before. Uh like I said, they 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 don't push anything natural. Uh, the FDA blocks things that could be natural. They've raided, you know, people that do their own uh, remedies and different things. They raid stuff like the raids that were happening in the early 90s with the vitamin clinics and stuff like that. And hell, that even happened last year. Um, they, all they do is, you know, they, they, they push nonsense. They push nonsense. They don't promote natural health or anything like that. So... Second dose sent me to the ER. My oxygen was about 80%. And the breathing treatment they used did not work. Now let's talk about boosters. Should I get one? Did I answer the question correctly? Yeah. I have not lost any loved ones to COVID who were unvaccinated. However, my wife's cousin was hospitalized very shortly after receiving the jab. He's likely got permanent heart damage. That's that, that was uh, that's one of the warnings on it. Uh, 
but they put that up. They put that. I think they put that out. They don't talk about it much in the media. Was planning to be a pilot in the military, but most likely cannot due to the jab. A couple weeks after my father got his second uh, second jab, he developed a blood clot in his brain and had a stroke. He was hospitalized. Then a, uh, a couple weeks later, he developed another blood clot in his brain and had another stroke. Had to be hospitalized. A few weeks later, he developed pneumonia and they found a blood clot in his lung. He also developed a bowel obstruction and was hospitalized. Now he hasn't developed a heart condition. He's in constant AFib and he had to be hospitalized for that. They are currently talking about putting a pacemaker into him. He was doing so good throughout the COVID pandemic. Health was fine. After he got that second Pfizer jab, his health went to hell. I have watched him suffer and his health went downhill. And after getting that life altering experimental RNA, mRNA gene jab therapy. So many stories, man. It goes on. Look, this goes on and on. Like I said, maybe these could be trolls. But it works both ways, right? But if they sit up there and they tell you how, you know, you had a loved one that died because they didn't have it and different things like that. Who knows, man? It's everywhere. So this is this is went viral. Now, this was just posted on MSNBC about. About uh, it was about five hours ago. It shows I saw it. Uh, saw it then, but I I thought this was you know this just further exposes you know. Like I said, the left right, how they're always you know the the shit the mind control and the propaganda that they're spreading in the media. Of course, they get two black women because they, you know, they gotta have that face. They when you have two quote unquote minorities black and being a woman uh anybody that says anything you know contrary or criticizes them now you shouldn't be saying anything about appearance you shouldn't be any ad hominem attacks but only attack the things that they say only attack the things that they say but you know the media likes to you know say you're a racist or you're a, uh or what's the other word or you, you hate women or whatever. But they don't do that with Nicki Minaj, right? They won't do that with Nicki Minaj. Like I said, it only, you know, it only goes both ways. But like I said, and hey, you got a lot of black folks on this democratic plantation. I mean, but why would they go to the why would they go to the Republican side when you hear a lot of Republicans saying a lot of crazy shit? Uh but you know, the Democrats just play the they play the hero. They say all the right things, but they're in bed with the same people. <coughs> they're in bed with the same folks, man. So let, let's listen to this, man. It's just sad, man. Why um, the shit that Nicki Minaj is going through, man? You can't can't say what you want to say, man. They'll jump on you. Look, listen to this, man. But but I, I want to bring this. Juanita, you heard me talking about the hypocrisy of some on Fox. Here's one more for you. Take a listen. Well, she said you have no right to board a plane if you're unvaccinated. It's not an American right guaranteed in the Constitution to board a plane. I believe, by the way, the 1964 Civil Rights Act was purposefully, intentionally brought through the Constitution through the Interstate Commerce Clause. It was so that we could recognize the right of black Americans to enjoy interstate travel. Juanita, your reaction to that comparison there? <laughs> it's laughable. Alicia, like, con condescending laugh. Won't just stick to the facts. <laughs> Won't just, you know, address what's being said. It's, it's, it's condescending. That's what they do on those left wing media sites, right? Will Kane's, uh, uh, Will Kane's, you know, used to be on ESPN, the guy who was speaking. He's a shield for the Republicans, too. But that doesn't that doesn't take away what's being what he's saying though. If he's saying what's what's right, if what he's saying is right, I mean, gotta acknowledge it. Come on now, really? 
this Fox News host is going to invoke the Civil Rights Act? <laughs> like, what? I, I can't even wrap my head around this because the irreparable harm. Yeah, because Fox News is the one against civil rights. Uh, yeah, maybe there are some. There are a lot of things that are anti-civil rights, but so are you guys too. So is MSNBC. If you understand what civil rights are and exactly, shoot, y'all are terrible. Y'all are terrible when it comes to civil rights. Let's get going. That they have done to their audience, the irreparable harm that they've done to this country with hundreds of thousands of people not only getting infected with COVID, but dying from COVID. And to find out that nine. The irreparable harm that you guys have done by blocking out alternative information. By censoring people. That's what's done irreparable harm. That's why people can't trust you. And stop putting it on everybody else. Your government is the one. We sit up there pointing fingers at each other. It's the government. It's your world leaders. It's your elite. We talk about financial stress and stuff like that. See, you just ain't got the money. These people have used their money. They can do whatever the hell they want. They can move you in whatever direction that you want. Y'all sit on these you know, these talk shows and these platforms and talk like y'all know some shit. You don't know a damn thing, man. 90% of full-time Fox employees are vaccinated. Like, Alicia, I, my first reaction on hearing that was, I know you're lying. Say and on hearing that was, I know you're not only getting infected with COVID, but dying from COVID. And to find out that 90% of full-time Fox employees are vaccinated. Like, Alicia, I, my first reaction on hearing that was, I know you're lying. I know you're lying. This cannot be the truth, especially when you have their hosts get up there every single day and make arguments like this one, like this one, when their audience is suffering. And the data backs it up, Alicia, because earlier this summer, we're, we're, the polling showed that Fox News viewers were 20 points less likely to get vaccinated than MSNBC viewers, CNN viewers, ABC viewers. And we can only imagine how that's translating into what we're seeing with the overcrowding hospitals part of the propaganda partisan propaganda now i keep hearing this equivalency and i've heard it when you're talking about these state state mandates and they get up there and say well you understand that the schools is the schools in every state that they have jab mandates for your children and different things like that and then you have this chick on here talking about that fox news has a mandate completely dishonest completely dishonest and like i said just ignorant in the literal sense ignorant of what the truth is uh fox news is still hey i now i don't know you know it's publicly traded and different things like that but it's still a uh it's owned by somebody it's owned by somebody and you have to abide by that person's rules now if they personally want that they can do then they can make that decision that they want to for the employees so if that's what they want there at fox news that's the decision that they that's the decision that they make when you talk about these public schools public schools are federally funded they're funded by tax taxpayer dollars that are stolen but they're funded by those dollars and so they get to make the decision they have to fe they have to follow federal regulations well federal or state whatever it is you know if the state's following the federal regulations they have to follow they have to follow that or they won't get funded nobody's forcing you to put your kid in a public school so when they go and they get those jabs or get all that those different immunizations and different things like that you're signing the waiver you're signing the paper that says that they have consent. You're giving your consent to everything that you do when you take your kids to these public schools. <clears throat> and the public schools have to follow that. Now, if a school wants to do something different, you know, outside of what's going on federally or state law or anything like that, you create a private school. That's what private schools are for. They, you can do whatever you want to do. But see, that's not the issue. The issue that is being discussed or is the state making mandates on private institutions for them to do what's best for themselves. That's a civil rights violation. Talking about civil rights. She fine as a motherfucker up there. 
but that's beside the point. We on that nigga shit. Uh, nah, that's a civil rights. That's a civil rights violation, man. Right there in the book. I mean, what's the? What what are we going off of? You know, do laws not mean anything? Laws are contracts. Do they not mean anything no more? They obviously haven't. Because the government has been breaking them for the longest. These are the contracts that they have on the books. They've been breaking them for the longest. And then you people always find a fucking reason to say it's necessary for them to do it. Imagine if they broke your contract for you getting paid at one of these places like MSNBC, Fox, or whatever the hell it is, and they break their contract. You're going to have their asses in court, right? Because it's something that was agreed upon. Things like the Constitution, that's what's agreed upon. We're talking about, you know, that's, you know, and that even goes, that's even under just natural rights. A person having natural rights that don't even need to be explained. But it's putting on it's it got put on paper. Cause if that's the case, if none of that matters, then what were all the fucking fights that we were having back having back in the day? What were those all about? <laughs> Slavery. Different stuff like that. Cause think of all the shit that we got from the bad shit that America's got. That people sit up there and they can go on these shows and look all look all damn cute and shit like they had their hair done. All these motherfuckers playing video games and watching their favorite shows and shit like that. That shit was acquired through terrible means, including slavery. You sitting there enjoying these luxuries, but that doesn't mean slavery was was right. And I would never permit it if it came back. Dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery. And now we're in, you know, debt slavery. Because you're talking about the Federal Reserve and Federal Reserve Act. Come around 1913 and wondering why shit gets more expensive. Why everything at the grocery store keeps going up. We're going to talk about $15 an hour, you know, minimum wage and stuff like that. We're pulling on people's heartstrings. We're dealing with emotionalism and not things that are logical, right? There's never a necessity. There's no reason, never no reason for you to infringe on another human's rights. I don't give a fuck how it can benefit a person in the, in the end. If it's more beneficial for a better life, right? That's what America's all about. Fucking over people, enslaving people, killing people, uh, you know, destroying other countries' economies so we can all here live a better life, right? Hospitals and ICUs um, across the country. So Fox has really committed to driving this lie forward, all for ratings, and at the cost of human lives. And it's truly inhumane. It's truly inhumane. Dr. Hilton, of course, Juanita gets it totally right there, which is that the hypocrisy comes at a cost. I mentioned the stress on Southern ICUs. How concerned are you about what we are seeing right now in the South, doctor? Oh, very concerned. You know, I would call it hypocrisy if it wasn't cannibalistic. What we know is that vaccines make you five times less likely to be infected. It makes you 10 times less. Only in, only in uh, the Southern ICUs, Trump states. That's what they're going to say. You know, when you talk like this, a lot of people say, are you defending? They'll, they'll ignore everything you say. Are you defending Trump and stuff like that? No, I'm just showing you how this shit works, man. These ICUs are being stressed all over the place, man. But let's even go outside of the country. Think about what's going on in Israel where they're having fucking, it's going everywhere, man. And they had mandates like hell. Most of the population got got jabbed. And they're dealing with ICU, man, all, all type of stuff, man. They're dealing with a lot over there in Israel. But they're not talking about that in the media, in mainstream media. 
times likely to be hospitalized, 11 times less likely to die. And if you're looking at per capita, the top five states in the nation right now for new infection rates, for new hospitalizations, for death for COVID, literally every single one of those five states literally was won by Trump, except for one state. When we're looking at the top five states per capita for hospitalizations, one state stands out that was not won by Trump, and it was actually Georgia. And we know what had to happen for in order for that to happen. And so what we're seeing is if, if you are in a, a state that's led by Republicans, if you're in Mississippi or Florida, you're literally 10 times more likely to die from COVID. And it's not just adults. When we're looking at children, if you're in those Republican states, your child is four times more likely to be infected. If you're in those those schools that have a ban or they say we will not mandate masks or vaccines, your child is 3.4 times more likely to die. Juanita, you heard me talk. And so even when you, when you talk about, you know, 10 times, 10 times from what? What's the number? <laughs> What's the number that we're talking about? I mean, this thing has a 99.9% survival rate, man. Even when you crunch the numbers, and it's even lower than that when you go, according to John Hopkins, according to John Hopkins University, and according to the CDC numbers, you know, the gold standard that they say. So, you know, and it's even lower than that. Now, that's still to say, you know, it's still a pandemic. It's still something that's dangerous. And, you know, you don't want nobody to die. 600,000 is still a lot of people. It's still a lot of people. But like I said, we want to make sure that we're putting these things in the right context and not driving fear porn so people can make an educated decision on their own. You know, now, if you want to put out different things to push more people toward, uh, you know, getting the jabs and different things like that, you want to, you know, push people toward that, you know, have some type of ad and different things like that. That's fine. But it shouldn't be coming from our joint journalism sources. If they want to have it, you know, the vax that thing up and different things like that. Well, you know, like the Biden administration, it shouldn't be coming from our taxpayer dollars. But if a company wants to have something like that and has to have some type of initiative and push people toward that because they think it's the safer option, then do the damn thing. But coming from your sources of journalism, but these guys aren't, these people aren't journalists. They can't even be sued in court as journalists. They're actors. That you saw what happened with, was it Tucker Carlson or somebody? I think it was Tucker Carlson and then with Rachel Maddow. It's happened with both Fox and MSNBC. They can't be sued because, the, you know, what it comes out in court is the people should know that what they're saying is hyperbole. You know? I've said enough, man. What you know? When we gonna wake up, man? And you know, stop all the you know, stop all the fighting. Just really sit, you know, put our information together. Stop the name calling, and because one person doesn't get one thing right, oh, uh, you know, we just we crucify them, and all oh, you don't know what you're talking about, and we try to, and so we try to discredit everything else that they say. We're we're all we're all not perfect. But what we all got to be against is propaganda. It's propaganda because this is the main thing that's getting people killed. And this government has never been for us, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. I'm about, to, I'm about to dip out, man, and stay tuned for more videos, man. We're not going to let up. We're not going to take our foot off the necks, man. I keep calling these folks out, man. Until then, you know, hit the likes. Hit the like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, please. Uh, man, I'll holler at y'all later.